Right, I'll just put you back down there. Don't drop your sunglasses. Right. Okay, so today is four of five sessions we've been doing this week. We started on Monday with flow. Tuesday we did balance. Wednesday we did coordination. And today we are doing footwork. Essential foot techniques for combining all those previous elements together. So for example, Part of the idea of flow comes from your ability to stay connected to the ground and to slide along from movement to movement. That's what you're going to learn today. And there are not five, not six, not seven, but I give you eight foot movements fundamental for the basics of Tai Chi. Well, I'm ready to come in. So, uh, we're going to start today with the first of these, and it's a very, very simple step forward. Now, in order to be able to make a step forward, remember the very first ideas I spoke about when we were talking about balance, all your weight in one leg, pick up the other foot, sink down, allow it to come up, just allow it to drift up like that. So that's how we're going to start these stepping techniques all the way in one leg, and you place the other one down in front of you, heel on the ground, I'll move back so you can see, heel on the ground, but nothing else, just the heel. Have a look from the side, I'll do it from the side. Sink, heel, just the heel on the ground. There's no weight in that leg at any moment if I need to. No weight in it. Then I gradually shift the weight into it. And as the weight goes into that leg, the back foot starts to peel off the ground very, very slightly. The heel first, then the toe comes alongside, then goes forward to its own step. Let me show you from the front. Heel, weight, peel off the back leg together. Heel, Weight, peel off the back foot, together. Now you'll notice I'm trying to keep the same distance here as I step. What I'm not doing is, I'm trying to keep the same height. I'm trying to keep my back upright, my shoulders down and my head up. I'm not looking at my feet. Don't look at your feet. Okay, so that's the basic step forward and it's called cat walking and if you look in the description for today's video wherever it is down there maybe up there i don't know but it's certainly not the sides you'll find a link to a blog post i wrote on how to walk like a cat where you've got the step-by-step -step instructions and extra videos if you want to go and have a look go and have a look today though because the link probably won't be there tomorrow right so that's cat walking that's number one and as you step forward into this it's called a tea stance or a basic forward stance in Tai Chi. Your feet are about shoulder width apart, front foot facing forward, knee over the centre of the foot and your head up. Now there is a variation that's exactly the same but it's wider out to the side and we do that in diagonal flying and we do it in uh, embrace tiger, return to mountain. It's exactly the same out to the side. That's why I'm not going to spend any much time on it today. Just imagine doing it forwards but not so much forwards bit more to the side. Number two, probably a pretty important combination of two moves is exactly as we started there, but just placing the heel on the ground, I'll show you from the side, just the heel on the ground, no weight, and then bringing it back. Heel, back. Now we do this in a number of postures. Play guitar, lifting hands. Just the heel on the ground, no way to pick it up any time you want to. There's a variation. Instead of the heel going on the ground, place the whole foot. Now pick off the heel, take off the heel, so just the ball of the foot's on the ground. And then you have white crane spreads wings. Let me show it to you from the side. Tap on the ground, white crane spreads wings. So that's just the ball of the foot on the ground. So you've got the heel 
or the ball. Or you've got the step forward, or you've got the wide step forward. We're halfway through, that's four already. You've only got four left. What are we gonna do for the last few minutes? Let's go back to the list, because now it starts getting interesting. What if we wanted to go backwards? Well, as always, there's a rule in there for that. And that is, you imagine you're on two train lines. Imagine, well, it's fairly easy to imagine these days with not many trains running. You're on general train lines, no trains running. One foot on each line, and you're gonna go backwards. It's the reverse of going forwards. All the weight in one leg, slide that foot back, but not behind the other one. Maintain it on the same train line. Transfer the weight. Pull the other one back. It's still on that other train line, so you're keeping your distance. What you're trying to do is avoid this as you step back. In fact, try and do that, avoid that as you step forwards as well. It's not very productive and it doesn't look very good. So that's stepping back. We've got one more to do, well, we've got a couple more to do. Side stepping. In Tai Chi, we take a step out to the side. It's very easy, it's exactly as you would do normally foot out but there's no weight in that leg transfer the weight pull that foot in transfer the weight so there's nothing in this leg stick it out transfer the weight pull it in now let's do it with a tai chi flair to it which means involving the waist because it isn't really tai chi if it hasn't got any waist movements remember that so, how do we move sideways with the waist? Well, uh -huh. turn away from the direction you're gonna go in. You're gonna go in that way. That frees this leg up to step out to the side. As you turn your waist back to the center, transfer the weight over, keep it turning, and you'll be able to pull that foot in, because it's empty. Turn back, fill up this leg with the weight, free in this one, step out. Use your waist to turn to the centre, shift the weight over, keep turning. Now this leg's empty, pull it in. And that's how we do turns, side turns in Tai Chi, from one side back to another. You can keep going backwards and forwards, and this we use in waving hands. Okay, now you may ask yourself, why are we rushing through this? I'll tell you in a minute, just be patient. So, the next step, this is a good one, the cross step is quite dramatic. And across. Pick it up and cross. I like this one. It's, there is, I imagine doing it with a sword or a fan somehow. Okay, so all you're gonna do, sink the foot and instead of stepping forward, it is a forward, but it's a diagonal forward, you step across your body. As you shift your weight into that front leg, the toes pointing away at an angle, pick up the back heel. Let me show it to you from the side. Cross, transfer the weight. And see the back heel coming up already? It's a transitional movement. These last few are all transitional movements. You use them, for example, in... Step and punch, coming through here. Or in the fair ladies, the four corners, as you're shifting from one to the other, you might step over, cross step. Okay, uh, the final one, the turn. Lots of people will say, how do you go so smoothly in Tai Chi? How do you get that smooth operator sort of deal? Well, if I'm gonna turn to face you, look what I do if I wasn't practicing Tai Chi. Someone says, hey, teapot monk from behind. Hi. But as I am a Tai Chi person, I'm going to use my Tai Chi stepping to turn around and greet the person who's just called my name. From two metres, obviously, not going to get any closer. Hey, teapot monk, watch my feet. Turn, turn, slide. It's very, very easy, but it gives you that sense of flow and just effortless movement as you change direction in Tai Chi. And all you do, all you do, is you take your weight out of your leg, front leg, pick up the toes, 
turn them inwards as much as you can. Feels awkward, but hold it there a second. Shift the weight into that leg. And on the other leg, now that one's not got any weight in it, pick up the heel and keep your hips turning in that direction. Step across and you're there. I'll show it to you one more time. It's quite an important move. You'll see next week. Take the weight out the front, pick up the toes, turn your waist, foot comes around with it, shift the weight over. Pick up the heel of the other foot and keep the waist turning, it's all one move. Now step across and there you are. The flow as you step round from side to side to side, it's all one long continuous flowing movement and that or those are the eight essential fundamental stepping patterns from Tai Chi. Now you may say to yourself can't you just give me a breathing exercise can't you just give me one of those like really nice one Gaia sort of one of the earth world breathing exercise yes of course I can give you that but I'm trying to give you some fundamentals that will change the, your, the way you interact with the world. Not just for 10 minutes of Qigong or five minutes of Tai Chi, but that it will change forever the way you move and the way your body moves in harmony. So don't think about remembering them. Just try, just pick up one or two and play around with them. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to give you some essential links and references to studying all these moves and keeping them recorded for yourself. So don't miss tomorrow's last session for this week. It's the fifth of five. And it's absolutely vital that you come along to that one because at the end of that 10 minutes, I'm gonna sit down, me and Lib are gonna join you for a small Q&A question session at the end in which I reveal not only where do you get all these resources from that will help you study in between the classes, but also what plans we've got for next week because just between you and me I don't think they're releasing us that early I think we'll still be in quarantine for another week or two so we've got to think about the best way of using that time okay so those are the eight steps quick rover up forward forward wide heel toe that's four stepping back on the train lines five side steps six Cross step, seven, and then the flowing turn, eight. Yeah, I know you won't remember any of them, but don't worry, I'll give you all the links tomorrow and you'll be able to sort it out. And relax, it's all about taking it easy. Hope you've enjoyed today's session from Lib and me. We'll see you here tomorrow. Thanks, don't forget to share, leave a comment down there, please. Spread the word.